Hello, welcome back to your World Leader Report. I have finished my research using my book that I was using and showing you on Epic. So I have a lot of details and my details are kind of specific and not necessarily bullets. I have a bunch of childhood and adulthood information. I also filled in her achievements with her husband and um, as an adult. I haven't done the timeline yet, that'll be separate. But I've also included some things like her awards and honors, like being a first lady, she was the US United Nations representative, and some challenges she had, like caring for her husband who had polio, not agreeing with her mother-in-law, and being a woman. And now being a woman, I put on there because she was alive during a time when being a woman was, and having a voice and speaking up about things that were wrong was difficult. So I put that on there, and war. Now, I didn't include anything about her later in death in here, but I guess I could have moved. Actually, I will. She died here. So I'll copy and paste that, and I will put that on here later, life and death. And maybe that United Nations stuff was when she was older. Um, it seemed to happen rather quickly after um, being the first lady, but maybe I'll find more information about that Um and when exactly that was, and maybe after she was a representative, what did she do for being a representative until her death? Fun facts, I don't have any yet, and I don't have any extra notes, and I lost my pictures. So the book that I have used so far is David Adler, A Picture Book of Eleanor Roosevelt. All right, so I found the Kittle link on my Google Slideshow, and I'm gonna type in Eleanor Roosevelt. And this will bring up all sorts of different kinds of other resources that I haven't reviewed yet. And try not to click on the ads because those aren't going to have any helpful information for you. So I'm going to go down here to this biography from the firstladies.org and I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read this article and look for any extra information that I haven't already found that would be helpful or give me more detail for my report. So this has everything I could possibly want to know about Eleanor Roosevelt. It includes more information about her father, her mother, her sad childhood, her siblings, her ancestry. That's all the people like her grandmas and grandmas that came before her. Her uncle, the president, Theodore Roosevelt, what she looked like, her religion, her education, her occupation before she got married, and her marriage and her husband and her children. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep looking through this article. And I'm going to pick out specific things that I think are relevant to my world leader that I don't already have. Then I need to make sure to cite the source when I'm done. Alrighty, I've gone through this article and I've picked out some important information and facts that I added to my notes. So some things that I added to my notes here were that the name of the headmistress specifically, that they had, I already had, they had six children, but I included that one was a daughter and five sons. I also included facts about how, um, like a quote, tomorrow is now, brings hope to people. Um, she visited soldiers and their families, also that her husband died from cerebral hemorrhaging, which is bleeding in the brain, and I included some other things that she did while as a first lady, so kind of in general, she was involved in tons and tons and tons of organizations, so I kind of just wrote in general, fought for better working conditions and poor, she was then a United States um, representative in the United Nations. I also found a fun fact that she was 5 feet 11 inches and the only other first lady to be that tall is or was the former Mrs. Lady Michelle Obama. Um, she was involved in the NAACP. She was the only woman to represent the United Nations. Um, it says that her home, they called it Vakil Home, became the National Historic Site in 1984 and she died in 1962 at age 78 so this is after and it's actually a hundred years that it a hundred years after her birth so one thing i'm still not sure about that i need to find more information about is how she died and it said that she had struggled with tb tuberculosis but it didn't say if that was ultimately what what killed her i also found a fun fact that she their dog was named um Bala. 
and I think it was a Scotty Scottish Terrier because so I've included those facts from that website so I need to include that website here first lady biography Eleanor Roosevelt that's the title of the article and then the website which is National First Ladies Library and I accessed the information today May 13th and so then I need to put that and then I need to um, put the website where I access this information. So I'm going to continue to do research using other sources and I will also continue to use books and ducksters and other sources that I've shown you and I will continue to add them on here as I add more information to my world leader report. And I also found this world leader information and on Kittle. Eleanor Roosevelt Facts for Kids, and it says that it's from the Kids Encyclopedia Facts. And I did pull some information off of here, such as that she did die from tuberculosis, that she also won um, an award from the United Nations, the United Nations Prize in the Field of Human Rights, and that she was really close to her uncle Ted Roosevelt, Teddy, and that she also supported other politicians and candidates for presidency or other political offices or committees. So I am going to now add this. I've already added that stuff on to my slideshow. So now I'm going to add this as my citation. So now I need to decide, is this an encyclopedia online or is it a website? Well, if I go back up here, or if I, let's scroll down first. I haven't been all the way down to the bottom. It says, Kittle, all content from Kittle Encyclopedia articles, including the article Facts and Images, can be uh, found under the end. It says, Kittle Encyclopedia. So I'm going to say that this is an encyclopedia online. So now let's scroll back up to the top. And if you're not sure, just do your best. Just pick one. Um, and as long as it's cited to some extent, it'll be fine. So the title of the article, so I need to go back and I need to find that, Eleanor Roosevelt Facts for Kids. So that's what I'm going to title it in my quotations and a period at the end. I know that it shows commas um, in between the things, but it really should be periods. So we're going to use periods instead. So then I go back to the directions here and I see that the next thing I need is the title of the encyclopedia. The, and we'll call it the Kittle Encyclopedia because that's, I think, where it's coming from. And I'll go back to the directions because I need to know what's next. And it says the date you got the information. So the date I got the information is May 13, 2020. And there's another example of finding more research in a different article. Just checking in here, I found another resource that has helped me find more information about my world leader, Eleanor Roosevelt. And since I did use some of that information on the biography about her on Ducksters, I need to also now include that into my slideshow. So I'm going to go to my world leader example. I'm going to go to my citation sources. And this is not an encyclopedia. It's just a website. So I'm going to go up to my website again. And this is Eleanor Roosevelt biography. So I'm going to type that in. And then I need the name of the web page, which is Duxter's Education Site. So I'm going to type that in here. I'm also going to add in these quotation marks since I forgot those at the beginning. And then I need the date that I access it, which is May 13, 2020. And I need a period. And then I need to go back and I need to right click, select it all, copy it and then space and paste it on here. Now it's really teeny tiny, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just make it bigger. And there we go, and I'm continuing to find more research. So as you continue to work on your World Leader Report, continue to look for those holes that you are missing. And you might need to go onto different websites, you might need to go onto different books on Epic if you haven't read them all. Um, as long as you're citing the sources, if you find information from wherever, it is totally fine as long as you cite your sources. Good luck and I'll keep looking at your World Leader Report.